Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American-Canadian Gamer, and welcome to Destiny's Crucible. Today we're playing some Clash. I just joined this match in progress, was not expecting to join one in progress, but we'll hop on in and see how things go anyways, because I have been playing quite a bit of the Crucible lately, and getting blown up by rocket launchers on a regular basis. And you'll notice now that I'm not doing the face cam anymore, I wanted to try it for a little bit with a few of my other videos, but it turns out that I found it to be more distracting than helpful, and also the way I have to record it, it was actually interrupting other recording processes because I couldn't record my face cam while I was rendering another video, so face cams are out of the question for now. As I get blown up by everything in sight, could not kill that blade dancing, blade dancing hunter. A little bit too quick for me at that point in time, but I have been using the shotgun as my primary secondary weapon like everybody does in this game because it is just that good to have a shotgun with you at all times. And I was able to upgrade this one so it has a very quick draw time so that I can pull it out and just use it as needed like I did on that gentleman back there. Wow, I am really surprised that one guy actually survived all of that. Expected there to be more death in that situation to be completely honest with you. All right. Not quite sure which grenade he was using. It felt like the standard Warlock one, the, uh, like that Void Torrent one. I don't know what the name of the standard Warlock grenade is. The one that just causes the area of effect damage over time in its area. I'm out of ammo! I was pulling the trigger like, what's going on? Why is nothing dying? And then I went on to kill three people on their team. You know, if I aim, I'll probably actually kill something. Get him! Oh, that's not a teammate. I was going to say, finish him off. If I had actually aimed down the... I could have actually kept going on that little spree. That's a shame that that happened. I really could have... Really could have done some good there, although I do need to find some special ammo. I forget where it is on this map. I don't get to play this map very often. I'm usually stuck on uh, Venus or Mars maps. Usually where I end up fighting. Not on this one. Heavy ammo inbound. Yeah, I saw the guy to my left. Heavy ammo available. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think I was going to get out of that at all. I need. I need secondary ammo. Shotguns are way too good to not have ammo for them in the Crucible. I actually think shotguns themselves, holy crap, are a bit too powerful to be just. I mean, just in general, I think the shotguns are a little more powerful than they need to be. That is not a direction I should have gone. <sighs> Blade dancers. There we go. There's some secondary ammo. Let's see if we can turn this this loss around. We still have an opportunity to do so. I think I've proven myself capable of at least standing toe to toe with the enemy team. Maybe not being better, but at least being on their level. Anybody else? Looks like you've missed your I'll take it. Postmortem kill. How are we doing? We are we are not going to come back and win this one, but this one overall was pretty good. And I'll do another one because we joined this one partway through, and I'm feeling good right now. Feeling good about the things that are happening. And plus, I only need a couple more Crucible marks till I can get my first, uh... Ah, Blade Dancers! My first, um... Legendary weapon from Dead Orbit, because I've been leveling their reputation lately. I don't think I did too bad there. 
I was ho I didn't think that at the end the blade dancer would actually turn and get me the way he did. I actually thought that I would be able to hit him in the side and switch to my shotgun because I thought he was kind of tunnel visioned onto another one of my teammates, but he must have just decided to kill me instead. And did I get anything from that? I got nothing. I never get anything. I never get anything. Although I was 10 and 9, so it wasn't great. But I did have a couple good little moments in it. So I will go ahead and skip to when the next match begins, and we'll do one more. Alright, here we are on the shores of time. This is not the match that immediately followed the last one that you just saw, because the last one was on Asylum, and I really do not enjoy that map in... So we're going to do this one because I actually enjoy this map. This is actually a really fun map for me. This is one of the first I think I ever played on. I think it actually was the first multiplayer map in Destiny I played on back in the beta. And I just like this one. This is a really just fun map to me. It has good sight lines. It has good flow. It has lots of interesting little areas. It's not all shotgun camping, but there are good shotgun areas to sit in. And there's good focal points for people to go into like right here. Speaking of, wow, I could not hit a broadside of a barn, could I? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Didn't think there'd be another person right over there. I wonder if that was, was that the same guy that was there just a second ago that I could not hit to save my life? Probably. It probably was the same guy who came back to get me in the end. Uh, if history teaches me anything, it's grab secondary ammo whenever you get the opportunity because you're always going to need it. And I have a nasty habit of running out of it. Alright, let's go around. This is also one of the few maps I actually know my way around it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, people usually sit there. I just didn't think there was somebody there, so now I know somebody's there. He's probably not going to be there for long, considering my, you know, three of people on my team were in that same area when he was there. Huh. Okay. I'll take it. Why not? I do want to win one, though. I have yet to win a match today. And after this one, I'm actually going to go to Dead Orbit because I've been leveling my Dead Orbit reputation and I should be able to get some gear from them. And I know that Warlocks are supposed to go for Intellect and Discipline over Strength, but I really, really want to kill this guy with a shotgun. What's up? <laughs> I'm just going to run away because that's just going to be a stalemate I don't want to get involved in. But uh, I, want, I want the Strength because I really like the melee attack of the Warlock a lot. There's always going to be somebody there. You know, that's just something you have to understand about this map, and I, I tend to have a habit of forgetting. There's always going to be somebody in that area. Yeah, he had the advantage there. He had a hand cannon. I should not have engaged. I should have backed up and let my shotgun do the work or fallen back with my teammate. But, you know, sometimes you want to overextend. You feel like it. You feel like taking on the challenge. And usually it does not work out in your favor, but when it does, you feel like such a badass. Assist on that. Heavy ammo, heavy ammo inbound. Oh, I forget where the heavy ammo spawns. I was just saying I know this map. I think... Oh, I'll forget about it. I'm not going to go for it. Heavy ammo available. There's some. Yeah, that was not a good situation for me. If I stayed where I was, I was going to get killed by the guy that just picked up the heavy ammo and obviously had a rocket launcher. And going back the other way, I did not have the appropriate weapon to fight that guy in that way. He was standing on the ground. I mean, I, had a, I have a scout rifle. That is not a weapon that I can use from the hip to take that guy down from that position. Son of a gun. Stop running from me! My goodness! You coward! Thank you! My goodness gracious people! Don't even know. I got somebody with a gr- No, he got me with a grenade, okay. But he got blown up by something else, so, uh, all's well that ends well, I guess? 
We'll just leave it at that, and we are only behind slightly. Let's see if we can pull this back for a victory. I need to win ones. Just once. He was charging up a fusion rifle if that looked like what I thought it was. I want the secondary ammo. Thank you. That was a nice throw on his part. I will give him that. But I think I'm starting to own these tunnels here, so... And then I got stuck on a box or on a teammate. I don't know, but I couldn't back up and go to the left. I was owning that area, but then all of a sudden I wasn't. What a shame. I have... I have lots of secondary ammo, but none of my teammates are over by it, so I'll just take it. Now I have my super. Hopefully this one will actually kill somebody and I won't just whiff on it like I did that one guy. Especially because I have a bounty to use it to kill guardians. Teammate's gonna get that one. I'll let him have it. My phone, I'm getting a text. No time for that shenanigans. Grab these orbs of light. Okay, I, I, I guess, I thought I landed enough shots, but I guess one of mine missed, I, eh, it happens. I'm not going to complain. I don't feel like I'm doing bad enough to be complaining about things that are happening to me, and I don't know why I threw a grenade. I just felt like I needed to throw a grenade there. I think I just absorbed a sniper round for you, because that hurt. You're in the lead. Heavy ammo available. Oh, there's heavy ammo there. Okay, you can have that kill. <laughs> I was going to go shotgun him, and then he just he got blowed up. I didn't know what to do after that. Nice kill. Thought I had my super. Don't know why, but I thought I had my super. <laughs> I don't understand why I did, but I jumped. I'm like, oh, I'll just pull the bump. I'll just press the bumpers, and I'll instant kill him before he can reload his rocket launcher. And then nothing happened. <laughs> Oops. High five. Only five minutes left. <laughs> Too slow. You're in the lead. Ah, I missed him. Oh, maybe I hit him. I don't know. Maybe I clipped him. He oh he was getting chased. Oh no, I, I missed him completely. We lost, we lost the lead. We're so close. We can do this, team. We gained the lead. We lost the lead. We're fighting for the lead. I do have my super now. You can finish them, teammates. I have faith in you for a change. Although, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. My team's actually doing pretty good right now. Oh, there was another one. Okay. Okay, that meant... Oh. I thought I was going to be able to get the Blade Dancer, but I couldn't. That's a nice weapon that he was holding. Very nice. Again, this kind of center area is turning into the focal point of the combat. I am an unsung hero of the competitive multiplayer. Title I'm proud to wear. That was a very, very good play on their part. I don't, I didn't see if he had a sniper back there, but it was a good shot whenever he landed on me. No, because now he's holding a fusion rifle. So yeah, I took a clip. I took a clip from one of the guys there, and then yeah, that was really good on them. But our team did win, and I was second on the team. While wow, we had a guy with 3,400, 
but I did almost outscore their entire team. So I'm really happy with my performance there. I think I had a positive ratio. I would think so. But, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I was around an even ratio. Like, more of like a one point, like zero five or something weird like that. Hmm. Mm, nope. And I got boots. I got some boots that give me intellect and discipline. I think I'll take them. They have one less defense when they're upgraded, but I mean, to gain both intellect and discipline and, as opposed to simply intellect, and I think that's, uh, that's good. So we're going to leave matchmaking, and I'm going to head to the Dead Orbit, the Dead Orbit oh, Quartermaster, and see what he has for me, and decide what piece of equipment that I want from him. Alright, here we are at the Quartermaster. I have looked at the various options available to me, and I think I'm going to go with the Exodus Grips because they give me Strength, Discipline, and Light, and they have a, overall, I think, a greater climb and a defense bonus as opposed to getting the boots, but also causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, which is what I want to have, and that's the kind of build I'm going for. So that is what we're going to purchase. I am now the proud owner of Exodus Grips, and I believe that is my first piece of epic armor, so... That is a good little milestone for me. Very happy to have that. So, there we have it. We're getting on our way into the Destiny leveling up and getting all of our stuff. I'm now light level 25, and I'm going to be on my way to doing wonderful and great things in this game, hopefully. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.